I am Vinayak Bhatt. Today again, uh, Sri Raghavendra Kulkarni is with us. Namaste, sir. Namaste. Namaste. So, as usual, we are discussing today uh, one of the most important topic, and this topic is much needed in nowadays. And our today's topic is ethics of Jyotishi. We can call it ethics of astrologer also, but astrologer is not. The exact word that we call Jyotish. The Jyotish in astrologer is something different. Okay, but we are more concerned with the Jyotish part. So we will discuss all these things like the ethics of astrologer or Jyotish and how to study Jyotish and what to expect, what not to expect, and all these things we will discuss in more detail with uh, Sri Raghavendra Kulkarniji. And I will ask. Some more questions also at the end, and uh, but I know uh, almost every question uh, Kulkarniji will itself cover in its own topic. But still, if if anything left, I will definitely ask at the end. So, sir, uh, you can continue with today's talk. Shri Guru Bhagavan Mahari Om Yadevi Sarvabhuteshu Matra Rupena Samstida. Namastase, 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 Namon Maha Yadevi, some of Hutishu, Vruti Rupena Samstita Namastase, 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 Namon Maha Namost to Tatriga Deva, Vishnu Bhakti Parayana Dharma Marke, Pray Rientu, Bhavanta Sarvai Vahi Muko Piet Prasadina, Mukunda Shena Yate Raja Raja Idirito Raga Indram Tamashri Shri Guru Shivaramaha Hari Om Namaste to one and all. <clears throat> As Vinayak sir introduced about today's topic on which we are going to discuss and share a little bit of knowledge, it is the most important and the basic topic of astrology. In the mean, it is a fundamental aspect of an astrologer. Ethics of astrology or the Niti Samhita of an Jyotishi. In ethics of astrology, as astrology itself is an divine knowledge and astrologer is a person who practices, who studies, or who teaches the divine knowledge to each and every student picked by the Almighty Himself. Because there is a strong belief in our Indian philosophy that Runanu Bandha Rupena Pashu Patni Sutta Alaya Runanu Bandha Rupena Pashupati Sutalaya. The general meaning of this proverb is according to the runa or according to the karma phala, we get the pashus, the sampati. Pashu means the sampati, not the animals. Pashu means palayate samyak. One who takes care of us and one who is under our care is called as Pashu. Patni means the better half or the wife. Sutta means there are two types of suttas. One is Atma Sutta. Atma Sutta means our own children generated by us. And another one is Vidya Sutta. Vidya Sutta means one who studies under us and shares the knowledge by us. He is called as Vidya Sutta. And the fourth one is Alaya. Alaya means where each and every karma or every act will be under the framework of Dharma Shastra. Alaya means the place where each and every person strictly follows Dharma Shastra is called as Alaya. Otherwise, it will be called as Griha or uh, Vasa Stala, Vasa Yogya Stala like this. 
this runa or the phala of karma comes to the shishya also shishya means the vidya suta or the person who gets knowledge from us and who practices our own profession in the forthcoming generations as we all astrologers are framed by a guru itself means the astrology teacher himself is called as guru in previous years astrology was treated as panchama veda and it was mandatory to each and every veda vidyarthi to study astrology because in the daily life of an vedic person astrology is mandatory in order to plan the muhurtas in order to write panchangas in order to decide the festivals in order to point out the eclipse in order to calculate the ayanamshas or muhurtas astrology was a needed material for each and every person nowadays as we are getting the ready stuff of panchanga and all all the vedic persons are not having or totally away from this the panchama veda or jyotish shastra in the same manner how the veda shakas are taught by the guru to shishya in the same way the astrology was also held between guru and shishya there was a patha called mukha patha nowadays we have books copy of books xerox items or anything like that but in previous years there was there they they used to have a single book that book will be with guru if he gives permission the shishya can share that book that to for one night that to for one night not in the day time he must share that book in the night time he must sacrifice his sleep and he must study all the stuff and he should be ready for tomorrow's class this was the thing where book was not at all given to the vidyarthis or the disciples there mukha patha was the main what we call it as by heart or to chant or to keep in no keep in smriti to say in the next class it was very much happening in the previous days but due to the heavy supply of books and copies nowadays each and every person including me we don't have the total knowledge of astrology as it is in book if you ask something for me i can ask i can say you up to my limit but when it crosses my limit i too will ask vinayak sir to give me 2 minutes time i will refer amongst the book and will i will say in further class this is our position right now in 21st century but in order to maintain the smooth delivery of astrological knowledge they had set up an uniform code to each and every astrologer what should be followed in order to continue the generation of astrologers this was done by our ancestors first of all in jyotishya bhaga the guru will be teaching this jyotishya bhaga only in the day time it will not be taught in the after sunset the classes of jyotishya will be in the day time that to after midday meals not in the earlier part of morning because earlier part was reserved for vedadhyayana only and vedanta adhyayana all this tarka nyaya mimamsa jyotishya and agama shastras were taught after the midday meals that in in the afternoon session and weekly thrice as i studied in uh, kasaragod kerala we used to have weekly three classes only on monday wednesday and friday and the what we 
collected the knowledge among these three class the same should be submitted or it was taken through an exam on sunday afternoon in order to go for the next classes if any one among us if we are not eligible or or we are not up to the mark <coughs> within the knowledge of the previous classes the whole class was meant to study the previous material itself that's why we were very much strictly brought up in this astrological knowledge in order to maintain the continuity of the class because in this jyotishya bhaga the most toughest part is the part of calculation the part of calculation that to the calculation part of ayanamsha and muhurta this two parts of calculation is most harder one because there you must have the knowledge of jyotishya within 100% and you must have the knowledge of the person who is asking muhurta and for which karmanga he is asking the muhurta because the marriage muhurtas will be different the house warming ceremony muhurta will be different the upanayana or the threading ceremony muhurta will be different the namakarana or the naming ceremony muhurta will be different the bija vapana the muhurta for plowing the field or sowing seeds it will be different and for the renovation of a temple the muhurta will be different for the installation of a deity means the pratishthapana muhurta it will be different in each aspect we have a different type of calculation and such an calculation depending on the yajamana in house warming the owner of the house in threading ceremony the brahmachari who is going to have upanayana in naming ceremony the person who names the muhurta should match that person in pratishthapana the person who does the pratishthapana it may be a sanyasi or the uh, chief priest or anybody it it should match those persons for us go that's why the muhurta bhaga and the calculation of this muhurta bhaga is most toughest part if we want to have this lagna bhaga and muhurta bhaga within a smooth way we must have the thorough knowledge of all the panchangas and other jyotishya siddhantas also coming to the ethics of this jyotishya to become and successful jyotishi and to accumulate the thorough knowledge from the guru in this jyotishya bhaga the first and foremost criteria is the first and foremost criteria of a jyotishi is sarva bhuta daya shaucham sarva bhuta daya shaucham he must be humble in every creature of almighty he must not have any discrimination within his mindset while learning jyotishya because while teaching jyotishya we can see each and every degrees of an graha if we learn jyotishya in the pre judious because when vedanta is taught when vedas are taught automatically the swabhavas of rahu and ketu will be taught accordingly while giving them the knowledge of puranas rahu and ketus are the split grahas generated by a single rakshasa at the time of amrita mathana done by all the devatas and daityas at the time of samudra mathana in order to excarve the amrita from the ocean kshira sagara while the bhagavan vishnu came in the dhanvantri avatara he came with the amrita kalasha and he, then he took an avatara of mohini and fabulous and most beautiful woman of the world he took the avatara of mohini when he carried the kalasha of amrita and he distributed all the demons and all these rakshasas with the madira or the surapana this rahu the 
previously an asura or a demon he came to know about the vishnu trick that mohini is vishnu and she is distributing madira the somarasa instead of amruta to demons automatically he took the formation of a devata and came and sat with the row of all devatas at that time the surya and chandra they detected they detected this person that he is demon and he is having amrita along with us as vishnu came to know about this thing he by using sudarshana chakra he cut the demon's body into two parts a head in one part and the body in another part by that time he had already had the amrita and he was already a chiranjeevi or the person who is having an mrutyunjayatva after having amrita those two parts of a body turned into rahu and ketu the head came as ketu and the body came as rahu in the same way in the same way if we keep that rahu and ketu are demon oriented grahas as in our prejudious knowledge it is very tough to study the jyotishya by the disciple that's why they had said that sarva bhuta daya shocham the second example for for this is shukracharya the shukra graha the venus because in a small incident shukracharya's mother or father was killed by vishnu himself in order to kill and daitya from that day shukracharya was an deva guru he turned into the guru of all demons or rakshasas if we keep this prejudious knowledge on shukra it is very hard to learn jyotishya and buddha graha buddha is the son of vishnu buddha is the son of vishnu he is the brother of manmata the holy person what he the hero of this holy festival whom got burned by maha shiva by disturbing his tapasya on this day of purnima falguna purnima he is the brother buddha is the brother of manmatha if we keep this prejudice point then we will have the soft corner on buddha that he is related to all gods but buddha is one of the maraka graha to more than three rashis because buddha is not having his self knowledge he acts according to the knowledge of the furious planet these are all some prejudiced things which an astrologer should avoid that's why they had suggested sarva bhuta daya shocham this is the first point we must be humble hearted to each and every degree of knowledge that we earn and accumulate by the guru and second one is nitya anushthana ratah he must have his anushthanas or fixed number of japas daily fixed number of japas daily why should we do this japas why it is mandatory means as we said in the donation part also and in the madhyamakalpa part also that the positive energy accumulated by a priest and astrologer will help a lot to the astrologer because when we see an precious horoscope or any horoscope of an good hearted person like swami vivekananda or guru govind singh or our lord shri rama or krishna or any sadgurus who had passed in our uh, centenaries if we look at those punya prada jatakas automatically the punya will be transferred to our karmas in the same way if we judge the horoscopes of the person who is having a lot of karmas that karma will also be transferred to the astrologers because 
in an regular phenomena of a person it is said that abhakshya bhojana asambhojana ashravya shravana apeya pana in that it also comes that adrishya darshana adrishya darshana means what which is restricted or what which is harmful our harmful for our life we must not see those things the karma yukta jataka the negative karma yukta jataka is also harmful for our life or our soul in order to accumulate the positive energy as jyotishis are meant to see the horoscope in the bad time of a person it will be the regular phenomena for the jyotishis to see the bad horoscopes each and every day to prevent that karma to prevent that karma it is said that we must do the fixing the number of japas each and every day for brahmins the trikala sandhya vandana along with the gayatri japa is mandatory for non non brahmins narayana ashtakshara mantra shiva panchakshara mantra datta ekakshara mantra are mandatory <coughs> and small example for this anushthana nitya anushthana rataha kot before 400 years in karnataka there were three main astrologers in this karnataka part or in this province one among one among those three the smaller one was called as jagannatha dasa jagannatha dasa his main name was shrinivasa raya and after getting the dasa diksha from lord venkateshwara he was named as jagannatha dasa he was well versed vedanti means a philosopher a well versed vedic priest means a purohita and a well versed astrologer there he had a board in in the entrance of his house that the jyotishya of a birth will be seen here or the total birth chart will be given given prediction by me it was an board before his house and the very next house was by named gopala dasaru gopala dasaru automatically he come with came with an board that two births jyotishya can be said here the predictions of two births or two janmas can be predicted here he came with that board okay so you are saying the first one uh, place the board uh, i will look the one past life ah one past no this present life this present life okay ah this and the second board was i will see this present life and the past life too okay and after seeing this second board the first one mr jagannath dasa he came to the gopal dasa and said that what are you doing it's my job before before uh, becoming jagannath dasa this was a incident with uh, this srinivasa raya and he came to gopal dasa and asked this is my profession if you place an board like this that you will say the jyotishya of past life and present life automatically i will not be having customers and after some days he heard and news that there is a person away 100 kilometers he is capable of saying past life the post past life and the present life means three births jyotishya can be said by those persons okay after coming to this part of knowledge he went to that person how come you are saying this as you are not studied jyotishya or anything like this how come you can put the board like this that you are ready to say the jyotishya of three uh, births of a person then that person replied not even you not even me each and every person can say jyotishya at any term of his life he asked how how it is possible 
without accumulating the knowledge how come you can say this jyotishya at that time he say jyotishya is panchama veda it will be taught in gurukula but it must be used with an strict backing what is that backing means this srinivasa raya used to do gayatri japa of 1000 number for a single time in a day and the first person who put the board of present life and past life he was doing gayatri japa of 2000 number and the third person who came with the board he was doing 3000 gayatri japas per day he, he disclosed his secret i am doing 3000 gayatri japas per day i am having the shakti i am having the dharana shakti to excel the karmas of an horoscope and to carry it over me and to crash it off by my anushthana shakti if you are having that much of courage in you and that much of anushthana shakti in you you can also put the board that you can predict about three births of a person from this incident what can we learn is the nitya karma anushthana or nitya japa anushthana is an a great protective shield for an astrologer that's why the anushthana is mandatory as the persons who are seeing this video they might be in india may not be in india they may be hindus they may be non hindus also if they are very much interested in learning this knowledge they must do this part of anushthana daily at least for half an hour mm. this will be a positive boon for each and every astrologer and after this anushthana the next point is anapeksha anapeksha vritti anapeksha vritti means not asking or demanding more than the limit of a person if a person comes for an astrology and he is totally i will say in our terms only totally in the adamakalpa parihara yogyata person who is totally down to earth and suffering by poverty the astrologer must not fix any fixed amount of dakshina to that person if he is having capacity then he must collect the same amount of fees from that person if the person is very much rich then he must collect the fees accordingly this is called anapekshatvam anapekshatvam means not demanding or snatching the dakshina or the fees from the person who is not eligible to pay and the next part is ಪ್ರಿಯ ಸತ್ಯವಾಚನ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಸತ್ಯ ವಾಚನ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಸತ್ಯವಾಚನ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಸೇ ದ ಟ್ರೂತ್ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಸತ್ಯವಾಚನ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಟ್ರೂತ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಫೇವರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವಿಕ್ಟಿಮ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೂ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಯು ದ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರಿಡಿಕ್ಷನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ if you ask if you ask if you are ask about the lifetime of a person by giving his horoscope we should not tell him about the lifetime or the how many age at what age he will be demised or anything like that instead of that we can say that how many generations he is going to see there is a small story behind this example there was a raja there was a raja it is a story it comes in bhagavata also and it is in panchatantra also there is there was a raja he was having lot of jyotishis in his uh, asthana or in his court 
once he said that all astrologers should write my date of death according to my horoscope and they should also predict what and all i will see from my eyes all astrologers agreed for that each and every one with went with a copy of horoscope of raja they sat whole night and wrote all the predictions which they calculated according to their knowledge each and every person came and they predicted that no no raja you are having a long life but your son will be killed before your eyes and by hearing that the raja ordered for uh, imprisonment to that jyotishi and the second one came he said that your wife will, will go around in front of your eyes you will not have wife in your future life by listening that that raja ordered imprisonment for that person also like this more than 10 astrologers came and they were all imprisoned by the order of raja at last a small jyotishi of an engage came with the horoscope of a raja and he predicted like this raja you are having an at most life of age you are such a great person that you will see your son your grandson your great grandson and all his disciples in front of you you are having such a great ayushya that you can see the dawn and dark of your kingdom you as you started your kingdom with the single penny you will reach to the crore and you will see the single penny again this is the bhagya of your astrology of your prediction this type of predictive planets are present in your horoscope i think this is one of the fabulous horoscope of the world this is my prediction about your horoscope he presented this thing in front of raja like this automatically raja ordered him to give more than 1000 gold coins and he was appointed as the astana jyotishi the prediction was same but the presentation skill was totally different with respect to the last jyotishi and all the above all above jyotishis they said the apriya satya to raja they said their predictions in the direct way which was like indigested by that raja but the last jyotishi using his skill and using this sutra of apriya satya apriya satya he used his skill and generated all the positive what he said you are having the great life that means you are you will not die soon you can see your son grandson great grandson in front of your eyes means all his son grandson great grandson will be slotted out in front of his eyes only and he had started his kingdom from from 1 rupee that means the raja was having poverty and now he is having crores now he is under sampatti and then again you will see one rupee means you will come to poverty again that means you will lose all of your kingdom in front of your eyes this is the bhagya of your means each and everything which comes in horoscope is called as bhagya only <laughs> by this presentation skill he attained the position of astana jyotishi this is what said in our ethics of astrology na bruyat satyam apriyam we should not speak out or predict the version in an which is totally harmful for a person we should directly say the parihara for that if we get an horoscope and if they are if we if we can see the hurdles at the time of marriage automatically we should share that you must do this shanti as on this year as you can find a small hurdle if you perform this shanti automatically the hurdle will be cleared and the marriage will be totally in the positive way for your daughter or son this is an prediction or the valid prediction of a jyotishi